Torsies on the Chevy, watch it moonwalk. moonwalk. I a supercharger motor, spin up asphalt. I don't care what it costs, I let that bag talk. I don't say much, I let that. What up, what up? Tuesday, Tuesday morning, man, headed to R&D. We gonna uh, tune the Black Air Arrow Coupe Monte Carlo today. So that's what's on the agenda for the day, man. We are gonna tune the Black Air Arrow Coupe. It already seemed like it's running pretty good with the little bass tune on it. So, should be a pretty easy tune. Shouldn't be too many problems with it. We'll see. Hopefully we'll get lucky two days in a row and the tune go nice and smooth. Shit, so from hurry up, stop, grab some little Chick-fil-A breakfast real quick because I got to eat something. I ain't shit. Just left out the crib. I already drank my coffee, though. That's bad when it, make sure I get that coffee before I uh, do eat some goddamn food. But yeah, so... On the way up that R.I.D., gonna stop, grab his food, gonna hop in the tow truck. As long as everything go good with the tone, we gotta tow the car back to Sammy's. That way he can come get his car. And uh, be another one done for the day. Plus I had got that phone call last night. Triple beam, pretty much done. Still waiting on like a couple of little things like the, um, I gotta put the uh, the side body mode and trim on there still, or whatever you wanna call it, the side body motor. And uh, we waiting on the, uh, the Caprice Classic emblem, but like everything else supposed to be on there. I ain't seen it yet, but I'm finna go over there and check it out, man. So once I get back from uh, R&D and drop off the car back at Sammy's, I'ma go check on, uh, on Triple Beam. If it's done, I'm probably gonna go ahead and pick that up. And then uh, I got to check on the crib too, see what the progress is with that. So we're gonna go ahead, do all that shit. Another another busy day, I'm running around. So it's all good though. I'm just glad we're making progress with that thing. Shit, hopefully, hopefully, like I say, shit go smooth with this tone. Cause R and D, we definitely bagged up on work right now. Plus, especially when we was having problems with them other cars getting to them like that Chevelle, like Holly. Holly moving slow as hell. I know he pissed off by this Chevelle, but shit, ain't really nothing we could do about it until Holly hurry up and do what they need to do. Then um, the Cutlass on the 30s. Hopefully, he, he get done this week or, or probably, really probably be done next week all the way. I'm, that's what I'm hoping. I'm trying to push for that so his colors get done on the 30s. That way he could go ahead to his next stops. Get him all the way done running the tune. Get him up out of the uh my homie with the uh with my old Chevy with the white LS. He pretty much done. He only got some little shit to do. We just kind of been putting off that little shit to knock out these tunes. So like that's another car that's gonna be done. Zell Malibu. We're gonna probably have to pull the head off that car. Pull the head off and then have to get that bolt that broke off out of the head, get that up out of there and then just put that back on and put everything back on. He should be good. That's probably a couple days work. Depending on, you know, like, cause if Ross, Ross that be there, I be always messing with him. He, he was out work yesterday, he was sick. Hopefully he be cool like within the next day or two. That way he can get caught up on shit, but and we should be good, man. We're going to be knocking out a lot of that shit. Hopefully getting a lot of these cars about the shop, man, and, and moving along. And then uh, I know my homie with the Black Land out. I know he definitely want his car done. And, and he ain't got his patience. Ain't, ain't It's real thin. So got to definitely try to get him done, man. Because I know he want to have the car done before September 15th. It's kind of pushing it. But it just depends how them parts, if them parts he need, take a long time then he gonna be dead for the 15th it just we gonna see what well, shit try to catch up on these cars get the shit knocked out i know it helps a lot when i be up there at the shop man so i'm gonna try to be up there as much as possible man helping john get shit done and kind of directing shit because john be so focused on stuff sometimes he ain't thinking clear as far as like what he should do first it just help you know what I'm saying when you got somebody kind of kind of there helping you and it might be the simplest thing that you needed somebody to kind of tell you 
you might already be thinking it, but you got so much shit going on in your brain that it take for that other person to be like, yo, why don't you just do this like this, get that done and get it up out of there. That's like yesterday I was telling them because today hot as, it's already 91 degrees and it's 10 o'clock. So it's finna get hot as hell today. And he, he down there didn't even want to come into work, but I'm like, man, why don't you just knock this tune out real quick? Get that car done and out the way and I'll just tow it back up there to Sammy's. That way the car out the shop, you ain't got to worry about it being in the shop. It's another one done, out the way, real quick for the day. Come in, tune that, get up out of here, man. So he's like, yeah, you right. You know, so sometimes we all be needing that little, that little like uh, affirmation or a little help, a little push to do shit. I know I do sometimes, so yeah, let me hurry up, get my ass up here so we can get that done. I told this car back out here to Sammy's. Go check on Triple Beam and have a fucking productive day, man. A few moments later. All right, so I just made it up to R&D. They over there on that side. Gotta go ahead, get his car ready. Ready to put on this dyno. Then on the other side, don't wanna open the, open the door yet. Start letting all the heat in, cause it's definitely gonna get that. It's gonna get hot real fast. It's hot as hell outside. Close this hood. Might as well get this car ready. Open this garage up. Yeah, yeah. What they building over there? Yeah, it's getting dust everywhere. Working on this weak ass Mustang. Yeah. A little leprechaun on it. Yeah. A little midget. John, can you just finish it? I'll pay you whatever. I'll just pay you whatever. Can you just finish it? You gotta tell him, but you don't work here no more, buddy. He said he'd pay whatever. So, whatever your bill is. <laughs> Let me write the bill up. <laughs> <laughs> you should really let you and call him. Yeah. Like, Sol's the, the manager now, so he says. Yeah, Sol is the garage guy. I'm curious how this intake's gonna do. It made like 490 something on the dyno last time. With the other intake? With the stock LS3 intake. Stock LS3 heads. Yeah, this shit. Fucking intake. Looks, it looks like a fucking supercharger. Well, Holly, shit, Holly, end up saying something to you about this guy's shit? Mm, they're ignoring me right now. They asked me for proof of purchase. What? And are you fucking serious? And they that's asked me for proof of purchase because the guy basically told me he's like, yeah, my team looked at it, and it looks like there's a short inside of the box. And that's that's this this piece right here. You talking about this piece that's right here that connects to the throttle body. That's just this piece that connects to the throttle body. No, no, no. That's not the problem anymore. That's oh, fine. so the, it ain't that. No, the the DI box, yeah. the lights go red after I start it. Now. Oh, so it's something with that with the So I sent them like four logs. And he said, okay, like I have the email. I even sent it to Sean. Right. I sent it over to him. The guy said, okay, it looks like there's an internal short in the box, but you need to check over the wiring one more time. So I checked over the wiring and he's like, check power here, here, and here, and here. And I showed him like, this is the Holly power. It's not going anywhere but the battery. Right. Like it's not anywhere else. Cause he's like, oh, if your chassis grounded it, he says, it looks like the ground for the injectors is being powered. Like there's a short. Okay, fine, whatever. So he goes, it looks like the box is internally shorted. Send me over your proof of purchase. So the receipt from when I bought it from Motor. Right. 
and then send me over the pictures of everything, like the wiring, right? And then we'll get you processed for an RMA. You did all that, and they still ain't. It's said been that. that was Wednesday. That shit. In fucking, fact, I'm gonna go look right now. That's just some bullshit. I like, dude. Sean is becoming impatient. I get that. But yeah. like, the next step is gonna be me coming out of pocket and just buying another system. I, I honestly can't do that right now. I don't know. Then Holly needs to stand on top of their shit. You got to say he got his coffee. He bougie, though. He drinks Starbucks. Love Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. So here, if I go to send, right here, Terminator issues, Yesterday, I said, any chance I can get an update for the customer? Nothing. Day before that was the proof of purchase. Here's the proof of purchase. That was on Friday. The last time that I talked to him that he responded was Wednesday. Wednesday, August 21st, he said, heard back from my team looking at the injector current detected before activation, which may mean the box is shorting internally or much, much less likely the injector harness is shorting the power. This would be odd. Like basically he's saying, the other chance of like the injector harness shorting the power, it, it's not possible. Like you'd have to have a power wire touching all the yeah. injector wires. Oh, yeah, at the same, yeah. At the same time. Yeah, it's not happening. Like not grounded, power. Yeah, power. And then he says, at this point, my recommendation would be to double check all the power bolts and grounds in the wiring and GDI controller and main harness and bulkhead connector. I already did all that. And then I sent him back that both are good, right. everything's fine. And I said, I'm seeing battery and alternator current while the engine's running. And then I, I responded again with pictures right, everything, yeah. of everything. And then again with the proof of purchase of when the system was purchased. And then I'm asking for an update and I've gotten nothing. It's just over and over again. So are you you gonna have to take the whole wire harness out or just certain I just need parts? The box. Just the DI box. Just the DI box. That's all I need. And you can't buy the DI box from Holly separately. Oh, you gotta buy the whole thing. You gotta buy the whole fucking thing. Oh, that's some bullshit. Holly, they got too much shit going on to be fucking doing bad business. Especially for all that fucking money they charge for this shit. A few moments later. Look, this is a four inch. God damn, so what is it like a... It's a 112. I figured they said it was a 112 or a 116. My winkles don't need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nick Williams. Oh uh, yeah. Mine's been acting up again. I had to, I gotta set the TPS damn near every other time I get in the car now. It's doing the same shit, it starts revving up. This fucking intake looks crazy though. It definitely looks like a supercharger. Winkles don't need this shit. I'm gonna take it up out of here. <laughs> Put it in uh, it's the white It's kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah. For like all motor, it definitely like it makes it look like it's um, clean looking. Yeah, hell yeah. And then like if you had like a nice harness, it could all be tucked, tucked underneath. Tucked hidden. Yeah. So I will get him up out of. It. He don't need it. Okay, so this is what I need to know now, because this obviously hasn't been set up. What rear gear, and these are 26s? Yeah, 26s. So 27.75 is probably pretty close. Yeah. Here, let me call Junior. Junior, what's it called? Sorry. Tori? Where is he? Oh. Gabby, can you look at this tire what and tell me what the size of the tire is? And the Monte Carlo. Like, what does it say this tire size is? Um, let's see. With the back, right? Yeah, the back. It's so like, a 275, 25, R26. It's going to be here from back then. It's in the rear of it. 295, 25, 26. Yeah, so 275, 25, 26. 295. 
295. And the back, it's 295 on the back. Because it's a 12-inch 12, 12 wide wheel, so it's always going to be 295. So it's actually 31.81 diameter. Isn't that crazy? He said 430. That's like the size of my yeah. tires. With the, it says my tires. That's an odd gear, 430. So that's that's how easy you set up the trans with the separate controller. Just for mile an hour. Just just for mile an hour. But, but it already has like shift points and everything, but it's all based on mile an hour. So if the mile an hour is correct, then it should drive correctly. Okay, I see what you're saying. And then now I gotta go on that computer right. and do the computer. I see well, why. Did you see the OBD port in here when you were in here? Even though Holly's got his problems, it's easier to tune. So GM sets its own shift points basically. Can can you alter their shift points? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, but it's all done through the separate program. Right through the separate program. Yeah. So you got to unhook from that, hook back up to the computer now, go back and forth basically. Yep. So that's why the Holly's way easier to tune. But shit, they both got their problems, especially with these LTs. Like these seem like the Holly's uh, trash for the LT. Uh, especially since they don't want to fucking communicate back and forth. I, I am just lost on that one. Like, I've given them charges. every piece of proof they need. Yeah, and they still ain't get back. RMA, like, I've put so many Hollies in. Yeah, basically a week. It's been basically a oh, week. it's been three weeks. Well, yeah, since I'm saying you sent them everything. Yeah. You communicated Wednesday, they sent them everything, and they still haven't got back. <sighs> Type of shit that makes you want to just... Well, you can't beat nobody up on the phone or emails. No, definitely not. I wish I could. You ain't doing no work, Ross. Yeah. You got a whole car that looks like it's at pick and pull right now over here. <laughs> he look, this car looked like he stole it and chopped it up like a chop shop. Look at it. That's how they build drift cars, and they tell my we crazy with the big rim cars and shit. Yeah, he really picked up too. Look like he's been at a chop shop, like they stripped everything off of it. Nothing in there no more. Yeah, there used to be a fender there and there. Yeah. I was watching when he was cutting it up. Shit's crazy. Yeah. We did the same thing on English car. Mm-hmm. You guys will see it back together soon. Ross ain't gonna let it sit there too long like that. You'll be up you'll be up here till midnight in the shop about fucking two weeks straight. Hey, hey, Tori, so what? what's happening, man? You going to fuck Isaac up at the track or what? <laughs> if he race you. <laughs> That's the problem. Say that too, man. All right. going to pull up in the lanes, man. Hey, it's been two years. He done prepped all these years to even try to race me once. He, he the fastest on the internet with the well, keyboard how much, talking. How much time it takes to just put on the track? He's scared to lose. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I think he's scared to lose on the internet. It doesn't even matter. You got to race sometimes. He know I got that camera out on his ass now. He real scared. Yeah. Let let Isaac tell it. Tell him I have all the interior in too, so he won't cry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he really. Yeah, oh, you did? Oh, he put it. Yeah, see, so you got a sunroof full interior now. Real street car about to fuck Isaac up. Right. Ain't no excuses, Isaac. You, risk taker, all that bullshit. Ain't no excuses, man. We trying to race, bro. Risk take, you put a whole new motor in your car, bro. So you definitely better race. You just spent all that money, whole new motor. Here go your old motor right here. We'll see. They the fastest on the internet. I don't 
don't know, man. Some of y'all in the comments saying, this, y'all don't like this car, I don't know how. It's motherfucking nasty. if you like arrow coops or not man this joint nasty man you gotta love that car look how it sit man there's a couple y'all in the comments man saying man all oh, that car ugly shit I, and i'm gonna keep it 100 i never used to like arrow coops either really but that one that bitch nasty man that one nasty. If, if you like cars, you gotta admit that car nasty, man. Y'all in the comments, some of y'all talking about this ugly, man. That car nasty, man. Hey, it's hot as fuck out here. I ain't gonna lie. As soon as I walk out, I start sweating and shit. Got my boy Tori out here. But Tori wanna see the damn car too, though. He going down. <laughs> The hell is that? Boy, it's so goddamn hot out here today, boy. Shit. What was that? A hat? Who hat that was? Ah, oh, John shit. <laughs> Flew off John here when he was driving. Uh, it flew off his head. Yeah. Ah, here you come. Man, that joint look good, man. Oh yeah. Dinosaur. John having fun in that one. See, he gonna drive the car when it got some seats in it. When the seat finna fall out, he can make me drive. He want me to crash and die. <laughs> and like yesterday, he's like, you gonna drive it for the drivability? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're fucking crazy. I'm like, shit, who else? Somebody gotta drive it. Shit. Somebody gotta drive, make sure it's shifting right. Hell uh, yeah. He ain't gonna be the only one having fun driving that car today. I'm gonna hit a couple blocks in it. Shit. Yeah, that's what he was saying yesterday. He was like, man, I don't know. You want to tell me? Like, hell yeah, let's tune it. Get it over with. He was like, oh, but the heat and the humidity going to have the, uh, the ho horsepower numbers down on the dyno. I'm like, shit, it don't matter. He ain't chasing no number. To like, shit, my car, when it was cold out, my shit made like 100 more horse on the dyno uh, last year. Look that Malibu. Yeah, that shine old car. That joint nasty. Yeah, he talking about this. This Malibu, this my boy Sean, old car. I don't know who owned the car now. Sean had this joint though back then. I almost bought it from him when it was for sale. Yeah, he definitely nice, man. He nasty. How I feel? I could, yeah. No, it feels good. It's, it's got power, but it knocks that tire off way easy. Yeah, ain't no weight back there either. Uh, he ain't got no music in the truck or nothing. Yeah, it's gonna knock that. That's how the Malibu was, though. The yeah. Malibu was the same was way when like I had no it. Hooking, it just, it yeah, just, it just instantly spins. Hey, that's the difference between that trans and using that fucking eight speed and ten speed. I hate that eight speed, ten speed yeah, trans. Same yep, same exact engine, different trans. Come on, y'all. How you gonna say you don't like this car for the people who said they don't like it, man? Come on, man. Knock it the fuck off, man. You gotta like this shit, man. Look at look how nice it is, man. This motherfucker built. I don't know. 
and uh, get the wheel, uh, the, the wheel cocked. Like you notice even when I did the burnout, like it wouldn't. Yeah. Like I had to lift off the throttle because it yeah. would just winged and limp. Yeah, it's just gonna keep fucking spinning, keep going. That's how the Malibu was though. That's that's how I like my cars. <laughs> you got you got to admit it too. Junior did a clean ass, nice install, dude. No, this looks really good. I'm very proud of Junior. That's how I, thought. I think this is one of his best ones yet. I'm very proud of Junior. Okay, yep. so that's nice and warm, so we know that's working. Yep. Got to set up real nice. Nice clean install. Like that. Yeah, that's that goose performance. I got uh, I got the whole kit for mine for the Chevy. I got to get it uh, powder coated. I keep forgetting to bring it up there to him. You say what, Tori? Yeah, the nice shit. But this one, Sammy's definitely uh, definitely did a good ass job. Clean as fuck. What's that? Yeah, like we have to like put it where it's not where the brakes are. Let me come back here and take a look. Let me get this front. Man, we got Tori up here working now too. Shit. Really love <laughs> hey, I, I was telling John, shit, if I live close by, I'll be up here every day. It's like we gonna figure it out. Where the fuck is Ross? John really need me up here, down there every day to help manage this I shit. Right. Can't do it by itself. Nah, I don't, they can't call me the new Winkles. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, John? He said it's really nice under here. <laughs> Clean. Yeah, yeah. Big sway bar. It's got this like brace, this UMI brace under here. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell some people in the comments saying that this car ugly. I'm like, shit. If you if you like cars, you gotta love this car. Nasty. It's put together real nice. I ain't a fan of the Aero Coupe, but shit. <laughs> so they don't call the Caprices Aero Coupes, though, right? Yeah, the ones that got the windows like that, yeah, the old ones. Aero Coupe, it's something else. They're Aero Coupe. Was here talking about it, and I looked it up. It's called something else. They got the Aero Coupe Landau's. Uh, but it's not Aero Coupe. It's called something else. It's this girl. I know she just got one. I'm gonna show you her shit. Let me see. Uh, what's her shit? Uh, X. These are so rare too. I don't know why people hate on them. Yeah, she just got one. Nah, he will keep steady messing. See, that's much more subtle even than that one, though. Yeah. Like, that's way more. It's almost like it's the same back window, but the Caprice is so much bigger. Yeah, it's bigger, yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I want to say hers probably like a 78, 79. Let me look. I looked it up. They don't call it Aero. It's got a different It's so hot outside, I started sweating as soon as I walked out there. Yeah, man. Boy. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Check this roll, make sure it's strapped good. Definitely gonna need this fucking fan. Get the fan right here. Of course, it's not plugged in. Somebody unplugged it. I don't know why. Retarded. And I think this is broke.
number one. Let's see. Oh, that ain't bad. First pull. Yeah. Same. What gear was that? Third gear. Yeah. It made it made a lot more torque though than the other one. First pool of 591, 750, it made a lot more torque. The other car didn't make that much torque. Yeah. It's 752. Yeah. So that's probably the big difference in that trans. Converter, trans, you know what I'm saying? You said it went down? What'd you say? It's weird, like that car and this car. The same shit pulling, it, it pulls timing? It pulls five degrees, like it's pulling massive amounts of timing. Right. Like, this one needs a little bit of fuel added, but I right. can't add timing. This right. one's running less time than the other one. The other one was running 22, 23 degrees. This one's running 18, 19. Oh. Uh, but this one's a little on the leaner side. Right. So it wants a little bit more fuel. Yeah, it needs a little more fuel, and then that'll pretty much be it. Uh, not bad for I the first set pool. The fans. I already did all like the base stuff in the tune, so that's all ready to rock and roll. Looks like we're gonna have another easy day. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> be hot as another another 10, 15 minutes with the garage. Oh, we're gonna be hot as fuck in here. Everything looking good. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey Junior, Sammy's, Efren, Efren, you guys did your thing this time, man. This is a nice, super clean ass install. You always do good work, but this one here, this is probably the best one I've seen lately. Well, that's good, man. It's coming along, coming along. solenoid for the boost control right there's supposed to be a solenoid here and then there's usually a line on this right. that goes over to the solenoid and then the computer can actually control boost. how much boost is going in it doesn't even have any it's all deleted right i'm really proud of junior all this looks really good like see how he put the ends on all the line yeah. right here yep. to keep it from fraying same thing over here like yep. kept it really nice he's using these really expensive fittings but like, see like this can yeah. and all this is specific to like LT4 cars. So this is like a Camaro ZL1 oh. can. And then he had to buy the quick disconnect fittings and everything. He could have bought like a generic can. Right, right. And used normal fittings and not had to spend all that. It's nice though. It's yeah, it's really nice. But that's what Junior's saying too. Like every time he's ordering something, dude didn't mind paying for like the nicer shit. So it makes sense. That's why, that's why it turned out so nice though. Yeah. Like all the fittings like even you know, all that shit. Like everything yeah, everything nice is clean. the most expensive stuff you can buy. Like all these yeah. fittings, like these, yeah. these ones down here, each one of those fittings is like 40, 50 bucks. So you got, you got 100, 200, 300, $400 in like yeah, six four, fittings. Four, four, six, four seven, 500, eight. 600 bucks. Easy. Or just fittings. Yeah. And that's just these, yeah. not the hoses. You got like the vibrant fucking hoses. Yeah, he's using vibrant. Oh man, <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. I forgot what radiator he said this is now. So. Um, Looking a whole lot like a Griffin. Though. Maybe it is a Moroso radiator or something. I don't know. Nice to roll. Even if it, if even if it is a Griffin, I doubt it. But if it is, it's still the one the opposite side, so yes, it won't have that problem. problem. Yeah, yeah, that problem with that bullshit. Ocean catch can. This yep. one. Yeah, expensive. Yep. Even with the fittings and shit. No, that's super nice. You know, it's got the overdrive lower. But the thing is, it's not making really much more boost than the other one was, so the stock. It's like the same thing. Yeah. I'm wondering if these LT4 blowers, if you don't port them, they, they just, just won't do anything. Right. Because, like, how does this one have an overdrive? Making damn near the same boost. And then even the Chevelle. The Chevelle's got a huge overdrive, too. Right. And it makes, like, 9 pounds. What this one making? About the same or 8. what? 8.6, 8. So 7. damn near the same? And then yesterday, that one was 8.62. And that was... 
a stock lower. I think that trans makes a big difference, though. Yeah, much more straightforward to drive. Yeah. It shifts harder. Yeah, they shifts harder, accelerates better, all that shit. Like, it ain't trying to control the torque and all that shit. That's what be fucking up the, the, like, that's why I don't like the, uh, what's his name, the box. Number two, let's see what it do. First one was good on the first time, so that's a good thing, man. We're gonna be up out of here real quick today. It's good, cause I'm hot as hell already. Damn, camera already overheated on me one time. settings right Take temperatures are higher now. Yeah, not too bad. But it didn't pull as much timing. That was actually more timing on that ball. Oh, okay. 22 degrees now, only one degree a knot. It sounds real clean. You don't really hear like no. But I added fuel, so like it's happier. I almost right. want to add more now. It definitely sounds like clean pools. You don't hear no uh, breaking up or nothing, really. No, I think it wants more fuel. I'm going to add a little more fuel. Probably so. So you know how these fucking direct injector shit is fucking. Well, they like to run lean. Direct oh, yeah, injection yeah, likes to run lean. It's right there, but yeah. according to the narrow bands, this thing looks like, like it's really lean. Oh, okay. Because remember, like, they're just making the intake pipe like, yeah. Right, so right. Like, from GI. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Definitely doing good. Sir. That big old lip. All right. They say, 
big lips matter. St. Louis got them a killer on their hands coming. Better cool down, add some more fuel to it. See how this next pull do. He probably ended up gonna do it maybe. I'm thinking probably one more pull. Probably that's what you think, right? Like one more pull? Yeah. Yeah. As long as I see the back pull away, like that nation. Yeah. Yeah. And it went down drastically, so I added another three percent. We should be good to go. Right. Alright. Well, hey, two lucky days in a row, no problems. <laughs> Especially on this hot ass day. Definitely hot as hell. Just chilling right here with my homie, man. Oh, supercharger. It's like it's just heat, so, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's hot as hell. Yeah. Right, well, that's cool. Made made some good power. Sounds real clean. All the pools real clean. Happy way. It's like showing no knock. Oh, that's perfect. So like man. we're right where we need. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Well, shit, good to go. Let it cool down for a second. Thirty-one degree intake. Oh yeah. They're up. Let it cool down for a second. I'll cruise around a little bit on the streets. Put on the tow truck and get the hell up out of here. I think my damn camera about to overheat again. Go back in the office. I'll go ahead and do some, some street driving.
liked that car. He, he liked that car. That's the most I've seen them drive a car. See me slowing down, they just want to be some assholes. Shifting all them gears like it's supposed to. Slow your goo fast down. She definitely running smooth, man. I ain't gonna do too much more driving. That's all I really need, man. Just making sure it's running through them gears, doing what it's supposed to do. John already went through it. We went through it again. So, shit, everything good. Gonna load it up on the tow truck, get it back up to Sammy's. They might have to do a couple little touches on it, and then he done, shit. They'll be on to whatever next step he gonna do. moments later once again pulling up the sammy's dropped the monte carlo off 
Might as well check on the vert while I'm here. Got this AC blast and it feel good in here, man. I'm glad too, cause they say 101 on the dash is hot as hell right now, man. Man, I'm about to have to get out and unload the car. I ain't tripping now. I've been in here chilling though for about 45, 50 minutes, so I'm cool. you got going on man who short bed this is i think that's his pop short bed that joint look good Let's see what we over here doing on his ass Bust down, took apart. Just started putting in this shit. Got my name covered up. Got to get the lower ones figured out. Everything took off. So it's getting bust down. When my ran took off the car. See the brakes. I know y'all gonna say something about these. Only reason I'm on there is because it's holding the roll out. So Monte Carlo dropped off safely here. I'm gone, I'm about to go check on Triple Bean. Zan, he's 28 on the whip like a silly fan. Bitch, I'm the man. Bitch, I'm the man. Got the hardest box Chevy in the fucking land. Bitch, I'm the man. Bitch, I'm the man.